Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome in. This is Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use system hotkeys on your stream deck to trigger key binds within Discord to mute and deafen. Now, I have done a more detailed video on this using a third party application and including the hotkey approach. In this video, it's just the hotkey approach. It's a little bit more simple. I've noticed a few people have been having problems with the downloaded application version of this. So I thought I'd do a much shorter system hotkey version of this. If you find this useful, feel free to thumbs up the video. It definitely helps me and the visibility of the video. If you want to subscribe also, I'd really appreciate that. Also, feel free to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's just get straight into this. So what we've got here, I've got Stream Deck open, I've also got Discord open. All we're going to do is first set up a key bind within Discord, and then we're going to use a system key, a hotkey, within the Stream Deck to be able to trigger that same hotkey. First what we're doing here is defining the key bind within Discord, and then having a button separately on the Stream Deck that actually triggers that same key bind. So it's the equivalent of pressing one button to trigger multiple buttons being pressed, if that makes good sense. So what we need to do in, in Discord, first of all, in user settings, you need to go into keybinds here. I've already got here uh, toggling mute and toggling deaf and set up. Toggle means it, to it toggles between yes or no. So it's simply a, a binary action. It's either muted or not. It's either deafened or not. Uh, I've got the, these keybinds set up as control shift M. To add a new keybind, you simply click on add keybind. You select the action that you want it to achieve. In this case, uh, if you want it to toggle mute as as per this one here. And then you record the key bind here uh, and you simply press the key. So if I want to set this as Control Shift D, for example. So now Control Shift D and Control Shift M will basically do the same thing, toggle mute. But just to illustrate that that's how you add the key bind within Discord. Then I'll set up. So now when I use within Discord, let's just get rid of this. If I type on my keyboard Control Shift D, it will deafen, as you can see, both icons are Deafen, I'll just undeafen that, toggled. And Control shift n will just mute, and once again, to unmute it, so it toggles between the two. We've now got Discord fully set up now. We move on very quickly to the Stream Deck. Within the Stream Deck, all you need to do is locate System Keys, and we're going to drag in two hotkeys. One, two. And we're going to use these System Hotkeys to click to assign specific hotkeys, and we're going to replicate exactly what we've done in Discord. So let's just first call this one mute discord call this one uh deafen discord so all we need to do now is click to assign a keystroke to the hotkey here so control shift m is the same as the discord mute keybind and here we've got control click here control shift d which will replicate the keybind for deafening in Discord. Now, when I press that button and that button, it will literally replicate those same keybinds that we've just set. And because those keybinds mean something in a different application, that will work perfectly. So just to illustrate this, I'm going to press on my Stream Deck now the mute Discord. And we're just going to see if this works. There you go. And toggle. And the same for deafen. There you go. That works perfectly. So there you have it. If you want to replicate the keybinds that you've set up in Discord within the Stream Deck, it's as simple as adding a hotkey and dropping on the same replicated keybinds, a much shorter way without having to download third-party applications. Um, the third-party applications I've found to work pretty well, to be honest, but I know that some people have had trouble with them, which is why I wanted to make this much shorter, quicker, easier video. Okay, happy streaming and take care. Cheerio.